I approached the woman sitting in the rain because I recognized her hair color. Uh, uh, uh. Gray inner color. Her favorite earring on that ear. That's my ex-girlfriend, Rika! Why are you so drunk? Uh, uh. You smell like alcohol. My god, how much did you drink? Here, hold on to my shoulder. Let's get inside the house for now. <gasps> this misunderstanding was the beginning of my cohabitation. My name is Makoto Iwakura, a working man in his mid-20s. Uh, yeah. The girl I just brought home is my ex-girlfriend, Rika Usami. I met her at a blind date, and we started going out, but we broke up soon after. But because of a mutual friend, we're still friends. Hey, are you okay? You'll catch a cold if you get wet, so use a towel. Uh, uh, uh. What? Who? It's not Rika?! No way! The woman I brought here thinking it was my ex-girlfriend was a stranger! Good night... What?! Hey! The next morning, the woman who identified herself as Risa Asami repeatedly bowed her head. I'm really sorry about last night. I actually don't remember at all. I brought you here thinking you were someone I knew, so don't worry about it. I should have asked you where you live when I found out that you were someone else. No, I probably wouldn't have been able to give you an answer. Actually, the company I worked for went bankrupt, so I had to leave company housing very suddenly. I don't have a place to live from now on. I will leave when I find a new job. Can I live with you until then? What? How could that possibly be a good idea? Living with such a beautiful woman? I can't just dismiss such a beautiful woman with no place to live because I'm at fault for bringing her here last night just because her hair color and height resembled my ex-girlfriend's? Okay, you may, if you're okay with it. You may? What's wrong with me? So began my life together with Asami-san. After that day, Asami brought the bare necessities from the company housing to my house and prepared meals for me every day while looking for a job. One night when I came home from work... Welcome back, Irakura-san. I made curry today. Oh, I see. Thank you. Asami's cooking is delicious! The spiciness... I don't know if it suits your palate. It's okay. I don't mind how spicy it is. I see. If you try it and have any opinions, please don't hesitate to tell me. Okay. Itadakimasu! I shouldn't compare her to my ex-girlfriend, Rika, but somehow, I find myself doing so. Asami-san prioritizes me in many ways, and she also cooks meals for me. But she should do what she wants a little more. As I returned to the living room from the bath, Asami-san beckoned me over and patted the couch. Hirakura-san, aren't you tired from work? Let me give you a massage. What? You don't have to do that. You always cook for me already. I haven't even given you the rent yet. It's my way of saying thank you for letting me stay here. But we came to an agreement on that, deciding that you would do the housework, right? But... I found out something after spending a few days with her. Asami-san seems to be a bit more stubborn than I expected. But I don't mean that in a selfish way. I can sense that she wants to do it for me. Okay then. Okay. Then can I ask for a massage on my back? Yes, with pleasure. What's with that expression?! I did as I was told and laid down on the sofa. Then something in Asami-san flipped a switch. After that, watching her trying to do all kinds of things for me, strangely enough, I was beginning to develop a kind of love for her. Oh man, I'm starting to get attracted to Asami-san. Hmm? <clears throat> I feel like Iwakura-san was staring at me just now. No, don't think like that. Er... Eh? Ah! Uh... Uh, is something wrong? Oh no, it's nothing. I was staring at her unconsciously. I don't want her to think I'm weird, so I have to be careful. Then one day, I was on my way home after work, when I bumped into someone unexpected. Oh, Makoto. Going home now. Why do I meet Rika of all people? The unexpected person was my ex-girlfriend, Rika Usami. Hey. Yeah, I'm on my way home now. <laughs> hey, could I go to Makoto's house for the first time in a while? 
What? Why? It's not like I have something I want to do, but we haven't seen each other for a while, so why not? I could at least cook dinner for you, right? If it had been me before, I would have let Rika come over. But that's not the case now, because Asami-san is there. You know, Rika, I'm actually living with someone now. What? Oh, yeah. You mean, like, a girl? Well, yeah. I see. That's too bad, then. Bye-bye. I couldn't imagine how Rika would react, but she left surprisingly easily. That was fine, right? All right. Time for me to go home, too. I hurried back to my house where Asami-san was waiting for me. That night. Today I came home a little earlier than usual, and Asami-san and I were watching TV together. Looks like someone's here. Shall I get it? No. I don't know who it is. It's dangerous, so stay here, Asami-san. Okay. Makoto, you're in there, right? Rika? Why are you here? I came. What are you doing here? I was just wondering what kind of person you were living with. And you came all the way out here just to see? Rika looked at me with a disappointed expression on her face as her shoulders slumped in disappointment. Because... Then Asumi-san quietly appeared from the back room. Oh, uh, you're the roommate? Rika, you... Asumi-san came fearfully to the front door, looking surprised. I'm sorry, Asumi-san. Rika, talking to you all of a sudden? No. Nice to meet you, Rika-san. My name is Risa Asami. Hmm. Hey, Asami-san, come over to my place. Huh? What? Okay, then you won't have to live here with Makoto, right? Wait, um... Rika suddenly started talking nonsense. Asami-san clearly doesn't like it. What are you talking about, Rika? Rika, you weren't the kind of person to say things like that out of the blue, were you? What's the matter? I still like you, Makoto. Is it possible to have a girlfriend in the house of someone I like? And she's so beautiful! What?! Rika-san! Wait a minute, Rika. You were the one who asked me to break up with you, weren't you? What are you saying all of a sudden? That's right. That's because you didn't actually like me, right? That's... I knew that. I was the one who confessed my feelings to you in the beginning. And when we started going out, you weren't really interested in me. Well... That's why I thought we should go back to being friends. If that's the reason... Wait a minute. Asami-san, you're not going to say you're going to Rika's house, are you? I want to stay here. If Irakura-san says it's okay for me to stay, were you listening to what I was saying? I like Irakura-san too. I fell in love with him. I'm the only one who can't keep up with this unprecedented situation getting confessed to by two people. Asami-san likes me? What is that? Like, your feelings grew as you lived with him? You're free to think however, but you don't know how Makoto thinks, you know? Well, yes, but... If I don't speak up here, I would feel bad for the both of them. Rika, I'm sorry. I won't let Asami-san go to your house. I want to live here with Asami-san, too. Uh, I understand. If you found someone you truly love, I don't have a choice. I wish you happiness. Rika said that as if she was about to cry and left. I decided to tell Asami-san how I felt once again. Asami-san, I want you to listen to me again. Yes. While we were living together, I fell in love with you, who did a lot for me. It was an unbelievable way of meeting, but these feelings are true. I... I like you too. I love you. Extras. Makoto, can you taste this? Let's see. Mm, it's so good. Risa, your cooking is the best. <laughs> I'm glad. Here, open up. Delicious. And so, Risa's live-in employment was decided. I'll do my best to protect her. There's a possibility she might work here permanently, too.